Hello guys, welcome. This is Rock Transit. So here, what you're going to see today is we're going to see an uh, a fragmented bits of tissue biopsy, which came from a 40 year old person, let's say, a lesion in and around the knee joint, right? So I'm I didn't have the exact. I'm not going to give you the exact X-ray findings here. Let's go ahead and look at the microscope and see what we can. See, as I always used to say, that first impression should be made on a scanner view. In scanner view, I'm using this cursor to point this. I'm having areas of hemorrhage little bit of areas of hemorrhage here and there and I do have lots of cellularity here right so let's go a little bit inside zoom in and see what they are actually yes so whatever we thought as hemorrhages are hemorrhages I do here see some acellular areas and I do have cellularity as well if you look at the cellularity I know uh, you must have pointed out one thing there's very very prominent number of giant cells I see us here look at this look at the giant cells there's a huge giant cell right at least a 50 nuclei so I have giant cells, I have areas of hemorrhage and if you look at this area, when I come to the corner of the tissue, you can see lots of single single cells, right? Mononuclear cells which are spindled out as well, right? So I have three things here in this microscopy. I'm going to give you a, uh, the brief history again. A 40 year old, a knee joint biopsy, somewhere around the knee joint biopsy. I'm having lots of giant cells, I'm having areas of hemorrhage, I'm having elongated spindle shaped cells. So what you're going to comment on is, First thing, what are the tumors of bone or bone related soft tissue lesions which are rich in giant cells? That's my first thing. Second, tell me your possible diagnosis or differential diagnosis for this lesion. Third one, I'm going to ask you a very, very specific finding. How will you differentiate a giant cell tumor of bone from a giant cell rich osteosarcoma based on aminohistochemistry? I don't want the routine pleomorphism or anything. Based on IHC, how do you differentiate them? Fine. These three are today's uh, thing. Please do comment below and if possible let's see more and more um, slides like this so that we can increase our diagnostic potential and need thank you for watching uh, do like the video do comment on whatever questions you have and subscribe to the channel see you soon till then bye bye from dr anjit bye bye